Within New Zealand, there are a number of highly active and dangerous volcanoes located on islands to the north of the two main islands of the country. One example is the Raoul Island volcano, responsible for two massive caldera-forming eruptions in the last 5,000 years which resulted in an unusually shaped island. A second example is White Island, which is the most active volcano in all of New Zealand and produces frequent explosive eruptions. However, there is also a third volcanic island relatively close to the North Island which people often forget about. The volcano I am referring to is the 4 km wide Mayer Island which last erupted approximately 600 years ago. This video will discuss this volcano and mention what its future hazards are. The Mayer Island volcano is located just north of the North Island of New Zealand within the Bay of Pliny. Specifically, it is 141 kilometers east-southeast of the city of Auckland. This volcano is quite unique as it is in fact a shield volcano that erupts rhyolite. This is highly unusual as volcanoes which primarily erupt rhyolite tend to form steep-sided complexes of lava domes due to the lava's low movement speed related to its high viscosity. However, on Mayer Island, a combination of unusual circumstances led to the creation of a complex shield volcano which is commonly associated with basalt rather than rhyolite lavas. The Mayer Island volcano began forming 120,000 years ago when a volume of high silica magma erupted onto the ocean floor at a depth of approximately 100 meters. Over the subsequent tens of thousands of years, frequent low-volume explosive eruptions built a group of overlapping shield volcanoes from lava flows which originated from differing vents. Then, 61,000 years ago, lava broke the ocean's surface. Once this occurred, a greater variety of eruption styles became possible. Some eruptions intermittently ejected bombs of lava in a 1 km radius and what is termed a Strombolian-style eruption. Other eruptions produced magnificent fountains of lava which reached several hundred meters into the sky. However, the vast majority of eruptions produced small lava domes. Over time, these eruptions constructed the oldest section of Mayer Island which is located on the northwestern side. By 36,000 years ago, this island was approximately two-thirds of its modern size. Then, during a relatively short time span, a rapid succession of several long-duration eruptions ejected large quantities of lava. This caused the underlying magma chamber to drain until a critical point was reached. Once this occurred, a 2600 meter wide section of the island collapsed downwards to fill the empty space within the magma chamber forming a 250 meter deep caldera. Afterwards, the volcano became dormant for 3000 years. When activity finally resumed, lava forming eruptions continued within the caldera thus beginning to expand the volcano's center to its former height. By 10,000 years ago, sections of the caldera wall on the southwestern side were overlaid by fresh lava flows. However, not all of the eruptions occurred within the caldera. Two eruptions within the last 10,000 years, including one in 6050 BC, resulted in the creation of lava domes on the eastern side of the island. One of these lava domes was almost completely formed from material ejected via lava fountains. Then, in 5060 BC, another large eruption occurred. As a large quantity of ash was ejected, pyroclastic flows raced across the entire island. Then, due to the large volume of material erupted, totaling several cubic kilometers, the center of the island collapsed downwards, thus forming another caldera. Since this collapse, several large lava domes have erupted in the center of the island, thus partially refilling a section of the recent caldera. We aren't exactly sure of the age of these eruptions, but the most recent one likely occurred a mere 600 years ago. I want to note that this volcano is often called Tahua, which roughly translates to obsidian. On the island, large quantities of beautiful black obsidian can be found which have been used to manufacture tools for thousands of years. Given the present situation of the island, it is unlikely to produce a highly explosive eruption for some time. The next eruption will likely produce another lava dome. Since these lava domes can intermittently collapse and lead to pyroclastic flows, a full evacuation of the island will be needed when the next eruption occurs. Also, during any eruption, a several kilometer exclusion zone will be needed to prevent airplanes flying overhead from being damaged by fine ash particles. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If